Hello everybody, my name is Skeleton Spooks and today, as you can see, we're playing some Banjo-Kazooie, baby. And what I tell you guys, I told you I could get some Nintendo gameplay for you. And, uh, you know, I got it, man. It took a while, you know, it was, it was really hard to get it going because there's so much stuff you have to do. So much crap you have to figure out, like cables and what the, all that stupid crap, you know. All that freaking crap. But the, today is, uh, day four of Variety Week? Yeah, it's... Oh, crap. You know what? Flying Onion Man? Okay, you're getting it. Okay, really? This guy's going to kill me. Okay, how do I do the move? Is it, Yes. Bam. Eat it, son. I got a little off track there, guys. But... Basically, all the AV cables and stuff, that got me a little confused, and it took a while to get it going, but at least I got it going. I did a test earlier, I don't know if you saw it, but I uploaded it. See what it looked like. It is a little blurry, uh, but you know, it is a Nintendo game, so don't expect a great quality. Uh, I'm still sick, so don't be hating, man. And like, I'm so glad I could actually just do this, because I've been wanting to play Nintendo and put Nintendo gameplays up on my channel for a while. Can we make it? Oh. Because they're just so fun and they like... I remember playing this game when I was six years old, man. It was just... It was so fun. Even though I all, only thing I did in this game was just run around and do nothing. Just like kill stuff because I had really no idea what to do. Now I'm, now I'm a little more educated and I know what to do. So I might do a let's play for this. Even though that'll take like... Uh, maybe 300 or 400 episodes we can do it you know you guys you guys think we can do it yeah we can do it I don't know I might do this a lot maybe every once in a while I'll put up a banjo kazooie let's play and just like leave off from where I started and uh, right now I'm sure but many of you have played this game what I'm doing right now is that I just started a new game and I'm going up this hill to save my little sister and hopefully I can save her because she's uh, supposedly the most beautiful girl on the, in, in the entire world. Even though there's only one girl up here. And here's a stupid mole person. I hate this guy. Actually, I don't. Kazooie hates him. Or is it Banjo? It might be Kazooie. I'm pretty sure the, the bird is Kazooie. And Banjo is the bear. And uh, I know that the... I did the test, as I said before. That the video frame is like it's really small. So, if you really want to get, like, a better look at it, put the video in 480p and put it in full screen because, so you can actually see what's going on. It is, it is, you can't see what's going on. Oh, God, hair in my mouth, hair in my mouth. There's my little sister. How is this commentary going? Two minutes? I, I, man, look at that fat witch. She's ugly. Okay. So, basically, if you want to see better, just put it in widescreen. Ah, widescreen and then you can uh, you can look at it better but it is pretty easy to see otherwise and I don't know if the if uh, the audio will be totally in sync because I've heard that like the dazzle will skip every once in a while and you know that that's that's just gonna happen if it does happen I'll I'll know about it I'll try and fix it although I don't think it's fixable all right so I forget what I'm supposed to do okay here here's a jiggy and basically if, if you guys have never played this game go buy yourself a Nintendo they're 10 bucks get yourself a controller buy a banjo kazooie and just uh, just play this game I have more I'm 10 times more fun playing old Nintendo games than I do like getting AC 130s and MW3 I can't do that yet <laughs> alright so is this where is where does this go okay this goes to Bumbo's Mountain baby oh yeah this is how we do it, Bumbo's Mountain, favorite map. Basically, what the whole gist of this game is to save your sister, and how you save your sister is um, by getting like all these jiggies, and you have to complete each map to open up these these uh, doors that have spells on them, and there's like these notes. You'll see lots of notes just laid around all over the world. <laughs> And uh, you have to pick those up, and if you get enough, like 100 nuts, you can unlock another door, which gets you to another world. And with that world, you have to get more notes and more jigsaws to unlock that world, and it's uh, it's really fun. <sighs> Although, like, you know what's funny? Like, the campaigns today, you know, like the Xbox and PS3 campaigns of today, you know, they're like 8 hours. These took, like, almost every... 
you know, like, free kind of rogue game in Nintendo, like Zelda, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Pokemon, I guess, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Uh, it took at least, like, 20 or 30 hours to complete. They just put so much stuff into this. It's, it's unbelievable, like, you know, they, they made graphic advance, advancements and, like, you know, you could, like, you know what I'm talking about. Every year, there's more better graphics and all that crap. <laughs> but, you know, they still can't, you know, the whole campaign thing, like, the story length of it is going downhill. I mean, like, frick, hell. Homefront, you know how long that campaign was? What, five minutes? Not five minutes, five hours, I think it was, if you're really good. You could beat the campaign in five hours. If somebody beat the campaign in Banjo Kazooie in five hours, uh, no, they should wait a million dollars because at least it at least takes maybe 20 to 30 hours just to beat this game because there's so much to do and there's, it's just a really overall fun game. I'd find to pick one game between MW3 and uh, Banjo Kazooie. It'd definitely be Banjo Kazooie because Banjo Kazooie is just better than any other. <laughs> Xbox game out right now doesn't even matter doesn't even compare no game compares to Nintendo games because the Nintendo games They're freaking amazing, and I can only make these videos about 10 minutes long, which is pretty much What my usual length of videos are so Don't be hating man. I know you guys want more But if, if you guys really want to see a lot of let's plays for these for this uh, map for this game uh, just go ahead and tell me uh, in the comments below, and if you don't really care much for it, don't comment at all, I guess, but, you know, it should bring you guys a really nostalgic boost uh, of your childhood, if you did, of course, play with, uh, play with Nintendo 64, because Nintendo 64 was amazing, and, uh, it's just, it's the best game system of all time besides the Nintendo GameCube, Nintendo GameCube is pretty, pretty beast too, I need, I need to learn some moves here, man. Yeah, I don't know any of my moves, so I have to find uh, I have to find this little ball hill where all the moves are. So let's go, let's go out and find one of those. Oh, oh, I know, oh, I know how to get up there. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try and get this little ring that gives me more, like gives me an extra life. I think it does. So let's go. Oh yeah, also tomorrow I'll do a Star Star Fox 64. Let's play of like the first mission, you know, where you're like on that Corneria planet. Uh, that was always my favorite mission. So I'm gonna wait. Can I kill this guy? I wonder if I can kill him. I've never killed him. Holy crap! I just killed him. What now, son? Okay, now now he's just back. Oh, that's that's great. So you can kill him, but he dies for like two seconds, and that's it. Eat it. Eat it. Woo! It's amazing how many backflips a bear can do in like three seconds. <laughs> yeah, my nose is so runny. I don't know if you guys can hear me doing all that stuff. Wait, do I need health? Yes, I do. Let's go get some health, baby. Alright, let's see. I think it's, uh, let me go in the first person. Uh, I can't see because it's freaking railing. I think it might be down here. I missed it again. I'm not even going to go for it because it's just too hard. I'll go for it later when I have the special bird move thing. <laughs> oh my god. I need... Where, where are all the molehills? I haven't played this game in a long time. Okay, I'm lying. I've played this game at least ten times in the past week. I actually beat the campaign. Oh, I have, I have to get this stuff, huh? Boom. Got that. Boom. Come on, baby. Yep. One more. Ow, that hurt. Got another jiggy. That's how we do it. <coughs> and in each world, if you guys don't know, you're supposed to get ten jiggies. And basically what... If you don't know what I'm talking about, jiggies are just puzzle pieces that... Like, let you go into other worlds and... Going into other worlds gets you cool stuff and whatnot. Alright, now I got an orange. I think I'm supposed to give this orange to the monkey here. Yes, I am. Have an orange, dude. Even though monkeys hate oranges, and I don't know what monkeys eat, but they're pretty much in the bananas. But they made it oranges for some reason. I don't know if monkeys eat oranges, but you never know. I get another jiggy, baby. That's how we, that's how we do it. Let's go. Yeah, eat that. I wonder where these go. I mean, like. The bird literally just eats them, and then he just shits out 
gold puzzle pieces so we could use them later on to put them in the world. I think that's a little... I would not want to shit gold puzzle pieces. Okay, you guys, looks like this video is going a little bit too long. Ten minutes. Hope you guys liked it. Put it in the comment section below if you want to see more Banjo-Kazooie. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a Star Fox 64 kind of thing. So I hope you like that. And hopefully I, I'll, I'll feel better tomorrow. At least my nose won't be ruddy tomorrow. So that the commentary can be a little bit better. And if you're new to my channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe for Call of Duty, Nintendo, game plays of all sorts of stuff. And I'll talk to you guys later. Right, Peace.